Hey everyone, welcome in. Thank you for joining me. My name is Marlene and I am with A Room to Bloom. I will tell you there's been some things going on with the volume input, so <laughs> before it was too quiet, hopefully this isn't too loud, so that's why I'm speaking a little louder because it was too quiet before. Anyway, so I uh, just did a short and I wanted to continue on with this message. And so I'm going to start out with the two cards that came up in that short and just continue on here today. So the first card that came up <clears throat> is from a deck called The Power of Intention. And uh, we have a purple roller skate. So trusting your intuition. Um, and it is an older roller skate, which is interesting. It says create a stress-free life. You have the power to create an, a, the naturally stress-free and tranquil life you desire. You can either activate thoughts that produce stress within you, or you can activate thoughts that make stress impossible. It is your choice, right? So this becomes about self-awareness and asking really checking in with ourselves on a very regular basis because there are many times in many situations we just go through it. We just continue to be in something that is not resonating with our soul, right? So if it is not resonating with our soul, we have we can have a gamut of feelings and or emotions, right? Um and so this is asking you to really get honest with yourself, even if you did an exercise where it's like, okay, over the past week, what have I done and has everything I've done totally resonated with my soul? Or were there situations where I just went along, right? You may have went along for a friend. You may have went along for a family member because they go with you to things that does resonate with your soul. So there is a give and take. But asking yourself, how many times are you saying yes when your soul is screaming no? Right? Have you ever had someone in your family, for instance, who all of a sudden they just kind of stopped coming to family events because... It just wasn't for them, right? And so there may have been some judgment in there <clears throat> in the beginning, but eventually people just started to accept that, right? And so this is learning to accept yourself with, with what is a soul yes. And just because someone doesn't come to every family event, that doesn't mean that one day they won't come because their energy is in alignment with a get-together, a celebration, a connection of some sort, right? Okay, so really sitting with yourself, and even if you listen to this in the evening, was there something today that caused you stress, and what was it? And how can you choose to not be in those situations? Um, now, now, we have tests and challenges, so we can be in our calm, tranquil environment and have something thrown in. And these are the tests. Can we hold our peace if there are things going on around us, right? Can we anchor into our own experience, to our own peacefulness? Can we be that anchor in the storm? Not necessarily for everyone, but it is like being in the eye of the storm, if you will, and watching what is going on around you, but being very aware of your connection to your inner self, to your higher self, to the divine, right? And interestingly, the next card is take no offense, right? So this is if someone is not coming to the family events. Like I, I've experienced that and I felt bad, right? It, it did feel bad. I wasn't taking offense. It was just hard to resonate with that. But now I've grown on a soul level and I understand from a deeper or higher perspective, you might say. So here's this dog. <clears throat> Okay, and it says, that which offends you, it only weakens you. 
So this is, means accepting things the way they are, are people without judgment, right? Being offended creates the same destructive energy that offended you in the first place. So transcend your ego and stay in peace, right? The stress-free life. Is there something or someone that you feel is offending you? And then asking yourself, why are you giving it so much power or someone? Uh, because you're allowing it to offend you. Right. And it, it's like this statement of you do you, I'll do me. You know, <laughs> it's just. Um, so there are bells ringing outside. Right. So this is like a confirmation. Just just being in peace. Stay in peace. OK, we're going to take a few more of those were the first two cards here. So let's see uh, what spirit wants to show us here today for the message. What else would you like to show us? Which is interesting because this was the card that was face up when I had the deck down. So this card wants to be seen. It is, says, be receptive. Okay. Being receptive means allowing your senior partner to handle your life for you. By being peaceful, quiet, and receptive, you pattern yourself in the image of God. And you regain the power of your source, right? So... It was interesting because the senior partner, that's exactly what I was thinking about, was God, right? Understanding God's got this. It's all, you know, it's all, we're all good here. Um, I trust the journey. I have faith that I'm always watched after and taken care of. And, and, and simply by being in peace, being receptive to what flows into our life, um, you pattern yourself in the image of God. So very interesting um, also, asking yourself, how many times or situations in your life have you not been receptive? Um, so someone wants to help you. Someone wants to give you something. Someone wants to do something for you. And you're like, no, no, right? So this is about being receptive in that and trusting that everything is working out just as it should. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting that we have three cards that are speaking about peacefulness, okay? So that, to me, is not quite sure what just happened. My computer stopped. So I said that there were three cards, um, three cards that were talking about peace. And I look over, and this is a card that I pulled this morning. It says, go out in joy and be led forth in peace. I was saying peace seems to be the overall message, and I look over, and there was that card sitting there and that's Isaiah 55 12 okay what else do we have we have a purple flower pot be kind right treat yourself and others with kindness when you eat when you exercise when you play that's confirmation not honking horn when you work love and everything else when you think feel and act kindly you hasten your ability to connect to the power of intention, right? You are choosing kindness. And so if you're if you feel something coming up like a reaction versus a response because there is you know there will be situations that will come in and challenge you. Um where others will be moving from um their personal experiences that they've had, right? And maybe that doesn't fully resonate with where you are on your journey or where you may not have been yet or experienced it yet. But understanding that everyone is on their own journey, right? And so if we can honor each other in that journey, kindness prevails, right? So again, here's that card. We have a purple flower pot. Okay, we're going to take one more. What else would you like to show us here? Okay, Con this I sh it came up earlier too. Convert hate into love. So here we have a sewing machine. Now when I see the word sewing, okay, wing, putting something back together, it says hate converts to love when the energy of love 
is in its presence. It's important to remember that hate directed toward yourself or others can always be converted into the life-giving, love-granting life force of intention. So getting right back to don't let things offend you. Ask yourself, how many times do you say that word? And now it's starting to become very aware of it. Eventually, it's you stop saying it. Um, be, you might shift your words saying, I'm working to understand this perspective, right? So you're coming over things from a higher, higher perspective. You're letting that word go. Treating yourself and others with kindness rather than using that word. Um, hate converts to love when the energy of love is in its presence. So now we're, we're just simply observing, right? We're observing people, situations, words, um, actions, and we're uh, imbuing the energy of love into situations to let that fade away. Yes, there may have been things in your life that did not resonate, and, and you still may not fully grasp where someone comes from because you did not walk in their shoes or experience their reality. But in time, and more and more, we have this unification progress or pro, process, pardon me, where we are um, coming together, right, as a whole. Okay. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Angel Wisdom Tarot cards to kind of follow up on these messages and see what else could be going on here. <laughs> All right, and these are by Radley Valentine. So what would you like to show us for the collective here? I know you can't really see me shuffle when I do them on the desk here, but... What would you like to show us here for the collective that would be helpful? Okay, under the roller skating, the create a stress-free life, we have wise counsel. So here we have two pillars. Um, it says unity with a spiritual-minded community. Ask the divine for help and trust that the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see what is best for you. So here we have this this like spiritual teacher, right? But on the ground, I'm going to hold this up, are all these different symbols for different religions, right? Spirituality is an, an understanding that that God is in all of this, right? And it's, it's different perspectives that people uh, gather their information from, make, form collectives of mind thought, if you will. But say someone is in one particular understanding, and that's how I'd like to say that, even if you take the word religion out. But if someone is understanding things from a different perspective, and they're being told, right, how it is, um, but then all of a sudden, they have their own experience that leaves them wondering about more, about the possibility of something extra, added on. It's not saying that this is totally false, but it's saying, wow, something more has opened up here. And now I'm moving into a seeker role versus just a student role where I am just listening and taking in information. I, I am now seeking out more and finding what resonates with me at this point on my journey? Because what I believed yesterday is not necessarily how I will feel and think today because I may have an experience myself that shifts what I thought yesterday, right? So we're always growing in our experience. Okay, so it's like, so, so you could be having a situation in a religious uh, environment um, that has caused you stress and by choosing 
to see this higher perspective, that might help you allow yourself to have that stress-free life. Okay, let's see what comes up under this um, don't be offended card. Let's see how this reads, take no offense. Okay, so we have transformation. So transforming the way that you're thinking, anytime you feel like somebody says something, somebody does something that triggers you, right? Uh, transformation card it is the it is known as the um, the death card so we are transforming out of the way that we used to be the way we used to think the way we used to live right into something new a significant life experience requires changes to be made so and often unexpected revelations will come, right? Breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. How interesting did that that comes up, and I was just talking about that, right? Um, that this is what this card is, releasing, you can see the words there on the bottom, releasing old belief systems, um, So taking no offense where everyone is on their journey, understanding that we, we are born into families that have certain um, cultural, cultural ways, spiritual or religious ways, whatever that is, right? And, and all of this is what um, helps shape us. But then we come to a point where we begin to awaken and we start to see oh, maybe it's different. Is this my time to choose, right? I can seek out a wise counselor. I can transform from what I have been told that I am to what really resonates with me at this point in my journey. Okay, the next card that we have under the being receptive, we have the seven of cups, which is about many options, many choices. And it can also feel like confusion. It can represent the internet. Okay, we have all these colors, all these different chakra colors. It says, make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options and or addictions, right? So maybe in an addictive situation, somebody is offering you something, but you haven't been being receptive to it. And when I say someone here, that card speaks about who? God, right? By being peaceful, quiet, and receptive. It is in, like, I'm just going to stop there with that card, but it is in that space that we recognize and we connect with God. Okay? Make a choice. You're being offered something. Okay, what else do we have under the treat yourself and others with kindness? We have a community card, a celebration of some sort. We have the Three of Cups, okay? People dancing here. Um, three of Cups is the Three of Water, so something emotional. And these people are dancing. There is a news worth celebrating, joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancy, or graduation. There is a time for gratitude, close communities, or chosen family. So treat yourself and others with kindness, right? It says, and act kindly and hasten your ability to, to connect to the power of intention. Okay. All right. And the next one under the um, hate, convert hate into love, we have the, the four it's the Four of Pentacles, and it speaks about managing your resources wisely. Here she is wearing a green dress. She is standing over a counter of jewelry, and she's looking at an emerald ring. Now, emerald is for the month of May, okay? Um, it says, managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give or receive money time or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black and white or white, and being charitable, right? So finding balance in how you are managing your resources, asking yourself, um, you know, do you get a check and then it's all gone? Or do you 
I don't know, not have a check and you're spending, you know, greater than what you have. Uh, making smart business decisions, so not just jumping into everything, spending excessively, uh, saying that it has to be this way or that way, finding balance in what that is. Okay, we're going to get some clarification on each of these cards as well. So can you give us a little more clarification on this wise counsel, unity with a spiritual, spiritually minded community? What was that to show us here? We have renewal. Okay. Interesting. It falls under the create a stress-free life with the purple roller skate. And we have an angel who is wearing purple. It says reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. Here we have two parents, a son and a daughter. An angel who is doing a life review here. Reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Okay, the next one that we have is under the take no offense and transformation. Releasing old belief systems. We have a knight of wands. Okay, now this is a faster moving energy. The knights are creative, right? Um, it's someone who is passionate, confident, charismatic, relentless, or I'm sorry, restless, pardon me, events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts, stay focused, and a passionate relationship coming in. Just take no offense in that, right? Okay, what else do we have here under the Seven of Cups here being receptive? Okay, where it's saying, make a choice. Interesting. We have the two of wands. Again, make a choice. This is when you have two, it's about a choice you have. We have two gentlemen here holding um, wands. They speak of action. Taking the next steps. Bold and ambitious choices. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Expanding your plans. Continue to move forward. The wands are about taking action. It doesn't mean that you have to rush it just means keep moving forward right keep moving forward and as you move forward be re there's a lot of choices in front of you right don't let the choices help have you get stuck because there's so many choices choose something and keep moving and be receptive to what is in front of you right work with that then go to the next thing when you're ready okay under the uh Three of Cups, can you tell us about this, please, and the card of kindness? Okay, the world. Okay, something has come to a completion. There is, there's a brilliant success here. A time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want. So be proud of yourself with this. The world card, right? Time of celebration. Okay, and then... So a joyful accomplishment. There might be something that you have completed um, in the physical world or on a spiritual realm that um, we're always growing, right? We're always evolving our soul, but like levels, for instance. Okay, what else can you tell us? Give us a little more information about this Four of Pentacles, please. Okay, we have Betrayal. Interesting. Again, managing your resources wisely. Okay, we have a betrayal. There's four people sitting in a campfire and someone running away with swords. It says a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure that you are being honest. Make sure the again, the video stopped. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. But this is the Seven of Swords card. It speaks about betrayal, a loss of peace of mind, or personal freedom. Take caution and be aware of others' actions, a material loss. Make sure that you are being honest with yourself. And again, it says embarrassing secrets. Okay. <clears throat> All right. On the bottom of the deck, we have, let's see, the Four of Swords, which it's someone just really resting in peace. And we have a person 
um, who's sitting in front of a stained glass window, and they're meditating, and they have taken off their knight ar- their knight's armor. I'm going to hold this up, okay? Their knight's armor. And the way it reads is insights that come from meditation, the need to rest or to take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before you make a decision. Mental exhaustion. Get some sleep. Okay, this is the subconscious. It's like you very much might be feeling it and you very much might be knowing it. But what did I say? Are you still going along with the crowd? That first card that came out was create a stress-free life. Are you just going along to go along? Are you honoring the self? When Jesus says, know thyself, right? It is honoring what what does your body need? What does your mind need? What does your spirit need? Your emotional body, right? Your physical body. Okay. And then we have a page of swords, okay? that continues to go under here. So Page of Swords is someone who might be watching over someone. We have blue butterflies all around this young gentleman wearing tennis shoes. So something with communication, blue butterflies. It says, logical, perceptive, insightful, and blunt, an exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need, but might be challenging to receive. Review all of the documents very carefully, okay? So it could be information regarding a page of swords. Um, The next thing we have is uh, the king of cups. Now, the king of cups is someone who's in their emotions. Could be artistry, right? Poetry, singer, songwriter. It says someone who is trustworthy, honorable, and devoted, cautious, someone that you can completely trust, a situation that is safe. A solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor, which very interesting here, um, this wise counselor, right, that had come up again about um, unity with a spiritually minded community. Okay, I'm going to go just a little bit further on that Um subconscious thing we have the sun card which is a card of joy it is a time of great joy and success brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities plans that work out perfectly and gratitude to the divine okay and awakening is the the next card here a temporary pause for reflection and insight An awakening where you see things from a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness and charitable actions. No, a little bit dark here, but it is what it is. You're seeing things from a whole new perspective. Okay. So it is when you get that rest and you have the rest, you can see things clearly. You can move from your heart space have that joy and see it, see it all, right? Okay. See, see all of what you need to know at the time. (laughs) Okay. Um, All right. And we're going to shuffle this just for an outcome here. We have release, which is the transformation card. We have an angel standing in a field of white flowers with a white horse. Um, Endings that lead to new beginnings, the need to release situations or people that hold you back, spiritual transformation, right? Very powerful reading as far as all of this goes. I think what I'm going to do, because the computer was stopping, I'm going to let it go, and we're just going to wrap this up with this. I want to say thank you for joining me. I hope this message was helpful, hopeful, and healing for you.